Cindy Lewis is a 16-year-old patient who has come in for her routine checkup. Dr. Maxine Stamm has been Cindy's regular dentist for the past eight years. So, Cindy, how have you been? Pretty good. You've grown up a lot since I last saw you. Yeah. So your chart says that you are due for some x-rays, and your mom said that that would be fine. So I'll have my assistant come in and get you for those in a minute. Your mom said you've been brushing and flossing and that you haven't had any new problems with your teeth. Would you say that's right, Cindy? Is something wrong? What is it? What's that sign for? Oh, that's just there because certain care or medications we provide could be harmful at various stages of pregnancy. So I'll just have you wait here for a few minutes. I think I'm pregnant. Have you seen a doctor? No. I got one of those home tests and it said I was. Cindy. You can't tell my mom, okay? Well, how should Dr. Stom handle this situation? What are the ethical and professional issues raised by this scenario? You may pause the video to consider this question. Let's look at a few possibilities that may have occurred to you. You can pause the video after each possible solution to consider the implications of each option. Before Dr. Stom proceeds with care, should she do nothing, leaving Cindy to deal with the matter, try to convince Cindy to discuss the pregnancy with her mother, Inform Cindy that she, as her dentist, must tell the mother if Cindy doesn't. Offer to tell the mother so Cindy won't have to. Arrange for Cindy to see a physician to make sure of her condition. Inform Cindy's mother in spite of Cindy's objections. Now, let's look at a few contributing factors as you weigh what is important in your considerations. Concern about the patient's well-being. Understanding the magnitude of the situation for Cindy, for her family, and for the practice. Adhering to local laws pertaining to minors. Upholding the privacy and confidentiality of the patient. The young patient's decision-making abilities. Consequences of the patient's situation. Consideration of a possible history of abuse. The obligation to reach informed consent. The relationship of trust between the patient and the dentist. Many dental practitioners face ethical dilemmas such as this one on any given day. Anticipating how you might deliberate to find a suitable resolution to any such dilemma is good preparation and can aid each practitioner to find their way out of the challenging questions they sometimes must face. Mm -hmm.